New year means new journals. So let's talk about all of the journals I'm going to be using this year, how I'm going to use them, these gorgeous covers I have them in, and also how we can get more involved as a journaling community. My name is Kelsey Lee. If you are new and welcome to my abiding journal, if you enjoy documenting your life, exploring your creativity and growing in faith, hope, and love, you're in the right place. So without further ado, let's talk about these beautiful journals. We're going to start with this one. This one I am so excited about because this is where I'm actually sort of switching things up. If you watched my new video called This Changed How I Journal, you will have an idea of what this journal is going to be because my goal for this journal is to essentially make it my place for yearly and monthly at a glance review type pages. In that video, I talked all about monthly journaling and how that has totally changed how I journal, how much I love it, why I love it. If you want to learn more about it, I highly recommend you watch that video after you're done watching this one. But I've decided moving forward that I want to dedicate an entire journal to this practice. And that is where this journal comes in. So this is actually a dingbat journal. This is my first time ever using a dingbat. And I've only created one spread so far in this journal. It is a 2023 goals entry. And if you watched my process video for that, which was part of Junk Journal January, I went pretty hard on this paper. I really wanted to push it to its limit. And I did. I saturated this page in water and let me tell you friends, it did not bleed through. It did not bleed through. I am gobsmacked as I said in my video. I cannot believe that this paper, 160 GSM, did not bleed through at all. Okay, there was a tiny bit of bleed through right in the crack because of me doing a two page spread. I probably would try to recommend not putting really saturated inks or water right in the spine, but oh my goodness, this paper, 160 GSM is going to be a game changer for me. And this size is larger. You can tell this is I think B6. So I knew when looking for a life at a glance journal, essentially that's what I'm deeming this type of journal for me, that it's my yearly spreads that are really at a glance type of spreads, my goals for the year, my reading wrap up for the year, those types of spreads, as well as my month in review spreads. That is what I intend to put in this. I knew for those type of spreads, I would want a lot of room to work in because each month has a lot of memories. And the cover is one that I already had from Documented Journey. You will notice that three of these journals are in gorgeous covers and they are made of cork and they have beautiful different patterns and they are all made by my good friend Brie at Documented Journey. She is an exceptional artist in so many different ways, but she is especially talented at making these gorgeous journal covers, and I cannot recommend them enough. This one is wheat with evening rain on the spine and on the inside pockets. She also uses a sustainable felt as the inside liner for these journals. And she offers them as traveler's notebook type of journals and folio styles, or you can do a combination. And you will see she offers them in all different sizes as well. They are handmade, which means every single one is customizable. You make it to your size, your style, and you get to support a small business owner and artist in the process. So if you've been with me, you will have seen this journal cover already because I've used it for the last year, but you will not have seen my brand new journal cover, which is 
this one. How gorgeous is this cover? This one is her avocado cork, which is this gorgeous deep olive color. And I love the way that cork is so unique in that every little piece is different in terms of these little markings on it. It's just, it's just gorgeous. It's so beautiful. So when designing my cover for this year, I always have a great conversation with Brie about my next journal cover. And this year she said that she had two new patterns that she was going to be releasing. They are coming out on January 8th. Mark your calendars, it's coming up so soon. January 8th, and you can have these two brand new patterns or she has so many gorgeous existing ones if they fit your style better. But the first new pattern is the one that I put on the front of my journal and it is called Harvest. I love how this looks with the avocado and the way it kind of blends together but then you can see that I actually have a jagged edge pocket on my front. You also can do a straight edge pocket, another way that you can customize it, but come a little closer because what is so exciting about this journal cover is not the outside, it's the inside. And you will notice, we'll talk about this in a little bit, the gorgeous Archer and Olive notebook that I have, but Look at this gorgeous pattern that I have on my inside flaps, which is so beautiful. I love, love, love this pattern. It goes beautifully with the journal that I have inside. But what is so exciting about that pattern is the name. Do you know what it's called? It is called Abiding. It's Abiding my abiding journal. So she essentially named that pattern after us. I'm sorry, my voice gets really high when I'm excited, but she named that pattern abiding. And I think it is the perfect name for a beautiful floral pattern like this one. So if you want to get harvest or abiding as part of your next journal cover, definitely head over to Documented Journey and check out her website. January 8th is when she is releasing those new patterns. She's also releasing some fun pins and these little wallets that she makes out of the cork as well that you can put onto a keychain. I definitely have my eye on getting one of those, but I'm so, so excited about these new patterns and the name Abiding. So thank you, Brie, and really, really important, I do have a discount code that she so kindly has shared with our community. She does not do this often, so it is a really big deal that she would offer this to us. If you use Abiding Journal 10 at checkout, you will get 10% off of your journal cover, so definitely go check her out. So that is the cover. Let's talk about what this journal is for and what the notebook I'm using is. I mentioned that this is Archer and Olive. The Archer and Olive notebook is also dot grid. It is sized A5 and it also is 160 GSM, which means very thick paper. So I have no doubt that it is going to hold up to all of my creativity just as well as the Dingbats journal. I'm very excited to use them and sort of see if there are any differences in how they function. But if you are interested in an Archer and Olive journal, they truly are just premium journals. They are so, so lovely. If you are interested, I do have a 10% off discount code in the description box. And this was a collaboration that they did with an artist, I can't remember the name, but I'll put it up on the screen, where they put this gorgeous inside artwork as the inside flap of the journal. I also got a cover with a little butterfly on it in honor of my mom because she always liked to say that whenever I saw a butterfly, that I should be thinking of her. And so when I saw that as a cover option, I knew that this was the one I would be getting for this year. And this journal is going to be my typical creative journal, daily journal, 
this is where I'm going to do my memory keeping that I've done in the same sort of fashion for the last few years where I'm just trying to capture various days throughout my life, big events, small moments, books that I've read. I like to do reading journaling in here as well. I may also do some journal prompts and that sort of thing. So it's really my everything journal. That is what this journal will serve as. A5, I'm really excited to get back into that size. It's been a long time since I've used an A5 journal and I just think A5 is the perfect, just medium sized journal. If you are newer to journaling, definitely check out A5. And if you need more advice on how to choose a notebook, I do have a video all about that. So I'll put it up here in the cards for you. But that is going to be my main journal is the Archer and Olive in my beautiful documented journey cover. The next one I'll talk about really quickly, and that is this little guy also in a documented journey cover. This is just a wheat cover with mums on the inside pocket, another pattern that you could pick out. And this journal is actually a planner, and it is in the style of a Hoganichi where you have sort of a brief weekly layout on one side and then a place to write out whatever on the other. I use the other side as a place to do to-do lists and habit tracking. So essentially, this is going to be my very, very minimal practical bullet journal. I used to do very creative bullet journaling, which was a great time. It's kind of how I got started with journaling here in the creative journaling community. But I've learned that I enjoy creative journaling more from a memory keeping standpoint and I like to keep my planning a little bit more basic. In terms of the brand of this notebook, it is just a little $7 planner. At the time it was $7. I don't know what it costs now. But for me, it was a $7 planner that I found on Amazon. So if you are interested in this, if I can find it, I will link it down below for you. And I have to say, for the amount of money that I spent on this, like $7, the paper quality is quite good. So if you've been somebody who's always been interested in a Hobonichi style journal, but don't want to pay the Hobonichi prices, there are alternatives. And I highly recommend this one. It has served me very well, and I'm excited to get back into planning. The final journal I want to share with you is one from Growth Roots Co. It is my growth book. It is my third growth book. So I've been talking about growth books for quite a while on my channel. And these are essentially faith journals. Of course, you can use them in other ways as well. But they are set up as a way for you to grow deeper in your faith. And so that is what I use mine as. It is a place for me to record sermon notes, work through Bible studies, write down my prayers, and just grow closer to God. And I do have a video here on my channel where I unbox my first growth book that was blank so you can see what it looks like. And I have a video that is a flip through of how I used my first growth book. So if you're interested in that, I will put it up here. But I'm really excited to be using my growth book again this year. My hope is to use it in an even deeper way. I have found that the last year, I really was primarily using it for my sermon notes, taking it to church with me, and I was less good at using some of the extras that this journal comes with, like the different sections in the back and also the great monthly review inserts that she provides as well. So my hope is to get back into the habit of using those sections as well. So those are the journals that I am going to be using this year. I'm so excited to get into them and bring you along on the journey. And that is actually what I want to close out this video talking about is how this is a community. The idea of me sharing my journaling here is that this is a place for us to have fun journaling together. Many of you know that I call our community the abiding family or abiding fam. And that is because I really believe that we are meant to abide in community and grow in faith, hope, and love together. And so I really want to invite you to be part of this journey 
with me and with us, with the abiding fam. So there are a few ways that you can do that. The obvious one is to keep watching the videos and interact in the comments. I love talking to you guys in the comments. Feel free to ask questions, offer advice to others who may be newer to journaling. And while I love YouTube and I love reading your comments, it is a little bit harder to interact with you here on YouTube. And that's why I love interacting with you guys over on Instagram and Facebook, where my abiding journal is present as well, at my abiding journal. So you can follow me on Instagram or our Facebook page. And there also is a Facebook group called the abiding fam, hashtag my abiding journal where we really interact with each other and share photos of what we are journaling. It is totally a place for you to be able to interact with each other, share what you're journaling, learn from each other, inspire each other. I really want it to be a place where you feel just as much a part of the community. So I would encourage you to share what you are creating and documenting in our Facebook group or on Instagram, I love seeing your posts. And so this year, I'm going to just be using the hashtag myabidingjournal. Previous years, I would add the year on, but I think moving forward, we're just gonna say the hashtag is myabidingjournal. Share what you are creating. We would all love to see it. And that way we know that that hashtag is a place where we can go and see what other people in our community are creating. I personally will be using that hashtag and I can't wait to see what you are creating with it too. So those are some of the fun, free ways that we can all be abiding in a community together. But if you want to get involved in an even deeper way and support this channel so that I can continue creating videos for you, then I would love for you to consider joining our family over on Patreon. Patreon is essentially a subscription service where you can join to support my channel and get some additional content in return. And I have four different tiers to my Patreon. The three main ones are going to give you extra content like printable stickers, journal prompts, exclusive videos, monthly journal with me live streams, as well as additional faith content if you join the Abiding Faith tier, like Bible study with me's faith stickers, Faith Fridays, where I share a peek into my faith life every Friday, and so much more. So if you are interested in all of that exclusive content, as well as supporting this community and be able to be part of the community in a deeper way by being able to use the stickers and things that I am personally creating for you and also getting to offer your insights into what I create next, then definitely check out patreon.com slash myabidingjournal. And thank you so, so much to all of my patrons. I really could not do this without you and I'm so grateful for your support. I also want to say that I completely understand if Patreon is not for you or if you're just not interested in it, know that you are just as much a part of this community. I don't want you to feel like you are completely missing out or less part of this community if you are not able to offer that support through Patreon. I actually wanted to let you know that you can join Patreon for free and just follow creators. So you can join Patreon and follow me. And so that way, whenever I post public posts like my YouTube videos, and also sometimes I post some free printables and things like that, you will be able to see all of those posts and you'll get notified through Patreon. So it is a way that you can be involved in some way in Patreon without spending any money. So I just wanted to put that out there as well. Hey fam, editing Kelsey Lee here. I wanted to jump in because I realized I completely forgot to tell you that I actually have a free printable attached to this video. So I created a 2023, 20, what? 2023, 2023, why does that sound weird? 20, 2023, 2023. So you can go over to Patreon to this video post 
and attached to it you will find the PDF of this printable sticker sheet. It is a nice big 2023 for you to put at the front of your journals or use wherever as well as a few little phrases. So that freebie is over there for you and you might be able to tell that the colors actually are drawn from the abiding pattern. So I used this color palette to inspire the Document Your Life printable sticker collection that I just created on Patreon. This is the freebie that is attached to this video, but if you are interested in the full sticker collection for Document Your Life, I actually created many other sticker sheets. I wanted to create an even bigger collection than what I typically create. So if you head over to Patreon, you can join the Abiding Love tier for $2 and get access to this sticker sheet, which is the mini printable. And when you join, you'll also get access to every other mini printable sticker sheet that I've ever created. And then on the Abiding Hope tier, which is the $6 tier, you would get access to all of the other sticker sheets that are part of this collection. There are four of them, including all of these fun illustrations related to journaling and documenting, some fun journaling cards with quotes about journaling and documenting our lives, and also a page of really fun little Polaroid outlines for you to use to frame your photos or your journaling, however you want to use those. So that is the Document Your Life collection. It is themed to match the abiding pattern from a documented journey. So I really hope that you have fun with them. You can become a patron to unlock these and so much more. And I will also have the Patreon video post for this video linked in the description box so you can click on that and it will take you to this video where you will find the attachment there for you completely free. I hope that you have fun with it and I would love to see what you create with these stickers so please tag me and please use the hashtag myabidingjournal. So that is going to be everything, fam. I am so grateful for you. I'm so excited for this year. I think that there is a lot of fun in store for us as we continue to explore our creativity and document our lives. And I'm so humbled and grateful that you are here on this journey with me. So thank you so much. I will see you in future videos. Definitely check out my latest video, or this playlist here for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life abiding in faith, hope, and love.